Hello everyone. Here we are going to continue with exercise 9.3 of the chapter direct and inverse variation. We have already did till question number 8 in our previous video. Now let's see question number 9. Now here in this question we have A, B and C can separately do a work in 2, 6 and 3 days respectively. Working together, how much time would they require to do it? If the work earns them rupees 960, how should they going to divide the money? Now here in this question we are having A's one day work equals to 1 upon 2, B's one day work is 1 upon 6 and C's one day work is 1 upon 3. Now we have to find the time taken by them if they all are going to work together. So working together it is going to take 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 6 plus 1 upon 3. That is we are going to add all the efficiencies and this is going to give the LCM of 6. So this is 3 times, this is 1 time and this is 2 time. So this is 6 upon 6. That is whole work is going to be completed in single day. So time taken by them will be one day. So here the work is going to be completed in single day. Now the total earning is rupees 960 and this is going to be divided among A, B and C as per their work. So the ratio of the work is 1 upon 2 is to 1 upon 6 is to 1 upon 3. Now here the LCM of all of this will be 6. So 1 upon 2 into 6 is to 1 upon 6 into 6 is to 1 upon 3 into 6. Here this is going to give you 2, this is going to give you 1 and this is going to give 3. So this is 3 is to 1 is to 2. So 3 is to 1 is to 2 is the ratio of the work by done by A, B and C respectively. So the sum of ratio is 3 plus 1 plus 2 that is equals to 6. Now A's share equals to 3 upon 6 into this whole sum that is 9, 6, 0. And here this is going to give us 1 and 6, 0. And this will be equals to rupees 4, 8, 0. Then we have B share that is equals to 1 upon 6 into 9, 6, 0. And here this is going to give us 1, 6, 0. And this is rupees 160 as the share of B. And now the share of C. So C share is 2 upon 6 into 9, 6, 0. And this is 1, 6, 0. That is equal to rupees 3, 2, 0 as answer. Now let's move to question number 10. Here we have A, B and C together can do a piece of work in 15 days. B alone can do it in 30 days and C alone can do it in 40 days. How much time this A is going to take to complete the whole work? Here we have A plus B plus C's one day work is 1 upon 15. As all together they are able to complete the whole work in 15 days. Then we are having B's one day work as 1 upon 30 and C's one day work is 1 upon 40. And we have to find out the one day work of A. So for that we are going to subtract this by the sum of these two. So this will be 1 upon 15 minus 1 upon 30 plus 1 upon 40. And here we have 1 upon 15 minus the sum of these two that is LCM will be 1 2 0 and here we will be having 4 and this will be 3. So this is equal to 1 upon 15 minus 7 upon 1 2 0. Now we are going to take the LCM of 15 and 120 and this will be 1 2 0. Now 15 8 times so 8 minus 7 that is equal to 1 upon 1 2 0. So this is the efficiency for A that is A is going to complete this much work in a single day. So time taken by A to complete the work is 120 days as answer. Now we are going to do question number 11. Here we have A, B and C working together can plow a field in 4 whole 4 upon 15 days. A and C together can do in 8 days. How long would B working alone take to plow the field? Now here we are having A plus B plus C's one day work as 5 upon 24. Here we have got 5 upon 24 by making the reciprocal of this one that was 24 upon 5. So this is the part of the work that are going to be completed by A, B and C working together. Now if A and C are going to work together they is, will be completing only one eighth of the work in a single day. Now we have to find the B's one day work. Therefore, B's one day work will be 5 upon 24 minus 1 upon 
8. As here all of the three are contributing to complete the work and here only A and C is doing the work. Now for subtracting this we have to take the LCM of 24 and 8 that is equal to 24 and here we have 5 minus 3 that is equal to 2 upon 24 and here it will be 1 and 12 so this is 1 upon 12 part of the work completed by B in a single day. So time taken by B to complete the work will be 12 days as answer. Now we are going to do question number 12. Here in this question we have A and B together can build a wall in 10 days. B and C working together can do in 15 days and C and A together can do in 12 days. How long will they take to finish the work working all together? Also find the number of days taken by each of them to do the same work working alone. Now here we have A plus B's one day work as 1 upon 10, B plus C's one day work is 1 upon 15 and A plus C's one day work is 1 upon 12. Now we have to find if all the three are going to work together how much time they are going to take to complete this whole work. So for that we are going to add all of these. Now adding all of this, this will be equal to twice of A, B and C's one day work as we are having A at two places, B at two places and C at two places and this is equal to the sum of all this 1 upon 10, 1 upon 15 and 1 upon 20. Now the LCM of 10, 15 and 20 is 60, 10, 6 times, 15, 4 times and 12, 5 times and this is 15 upon 60. Now this is going to cancel it out to get 4. So we are having 1 upon 4. So here we get 1 upon 4. Now A plus B plus C's one day work will be equals to 1 upon 4 into 2 as this 2 will be sent in the denominator of this one and that is equals to 1 upon 8. So A plus B plus C's one day work equals to 1 upon 8. That is they are going to complete 1 eighth of the work in a single day. So the time taken by them working together equals to 8 days. Now we have to also find A, B and C's one day work separately. So A's one day work is A plus B plus C's one day work that is equals to 1 upon 8 minus B plus C's one day work because isme A involved nahi hai. So we are going to subtract this one by 1 upon 15 and the LCM of 15 and 8 is 120. This is 15 minus 8 that is equals to 7 upon 20. So time taken by A equals to 120 upon 7 that is equals to 17 whole 1 upon 7 days to complete the whole work. Now the B's one day work is 1 upon 8 minus C plus A's one day work as B is not involved over here. So this will be 1 upon 8 minus 1 upon 12. Now the LCM of this 8 and 12 is 24. This is 3 times and this one is 2 times that is equals to 1 upon 24. So the time taken by B equals to 24 days to complete the work. Now C's one day work equals to 1 upon 8 minus 1 upon 10 and here we have the LCM as 40 that is 5 times and 4 times. This is 1 upon 40. So time taken by C to complete the work equals to 40 days as answer. Now we are going to do question number 13. Here we have a pipe can fill a tank in 12 hours. By mistake a waste pipe at the bottom is left opened and the tank is filled in 16 hours. If the tank is full how much time will the waste pipe take to empty the tank? Now here in this question tank filled in 1 hour by the pipe is 1 upon 12 as this pipe is going to fill the whole tank in 12 hours. Now let's suppose the waste pipe is going to empty the whole tank in x hours. Therefore the tank emptied in 1 hour by the waste pipe will be 1 upon x. But when both of the pipes are kept open in that case this whole tank is filled in 16 hours. Therefore the actual tank filled when both the pipes are kept open is 1 upon 16. Therefore according to question we can form a relation between all of the three that is 1 upon 12 minus 1 upon x equals to 1 upon 16. This is the actual time which should be taken but this is going to empty the same amount in each hour and this is the amount which is going to be filled. 
Now we have got this linear equation and we are going to solve this for x. Now let's separate the variable and constant on the respective side. So this is 1 upon x equals to 1 upon 16 minus 1 upon 12. And here on taking LCM 16 and 12 will be 48. 16 3 times and 12 4 times. So this is equals to minus 1 upon 48. So here we have minus 1 upon x equals to minus 1 upon 48. Minus minus cancelled out and therefore x equals to 48 hours as answer. That's all for this video. Thank you.